the platform, the Polo has taken a giant leap forward. The design is much more dynamic and uh, powerful. I think the proportions help a lot. The wheelbase is longer, the car looks better, and is more fun to drive. I have to say, much more fun to drive than the predecessor. The Polo is much more digital as well. For example, it is the only small car that offers a fully digital cockpit. You might have a look later inside. And the Polo comes with a whole range of different engines. Very important, our fuel-efficient diesel engines are equipped from now on with CR, SCR, and uh, uh, catalytic converters. The latest generation of gasoline engines will soon be fitted with particle filters as well. And we are offering, uh, as a first in this Polo, a natural gas powertrain, which is unique uh, in this small car segment, and I think from uh, uh, utmost importance for our Italian market, which is very strong on natural gas engines. Ladies and gentlemen, in, in terms of uh, technology, the new Polo plays in really in a higher league. Uh, on the street, it is, I would say, a face in the crowd. In a nutshell, the Polo sets new standards in the small car segment. And uh, my colleagues, Frank Welch and Klaus Bischoff, will now tell you more about this great small car. The new Polo is really packed with a whole lot of innovative technologies. And the reason for that is very easy. We decided, when we started to develop that car, to use the innovative MQB platform that you all know from other cars like Golf, like Tiguan, like Passat, and so on. And using this MQB, this exactly has enabled us to use the most innovative car body layouts on the one side, and on the other side, to use the most innovative technologies yeah, that some of you will, will know. For the others, I'm going to explain for that. I developed a lot of cars, but also cars in that class, in the subcompact class. But never before, you know, I know a car, and also we at Volkswagen, never before we built a car with such exacting technical specification. F today, I could talk an hour for that, but as I only have some couple of minutes, I'm going to focus on four important topics today. First of all, what is important for the customer on the first glance is the design. This will be focused, of course, by my colleague Klaus Bischoff. What is secondly behind and under this good and perfect design and dynamic design is the package. The package of that car moves one step beyond. You have more interior space than ever before and, than most and more interior space than any competitor in that class. The most important change in that, in that area, I'm going to explain later, yeah, but you will feel this is one class beyond. Secondly, the new infotainment systems. You've seen that before on the screen. I'm going to tell you more details in a minute, especially on this latest generation of the second generation of this active info display we developed and has world premiere here in that car. Third point I'm going to mention is these uh, assistance systems you found in that car, yeah, because these are pioneering driver system systems. Front assist is just one example of this. And last but not least, my fourth point, efficient engines. A new addition here, as just mentioned by Herbert Dies, is this natural gas TGI engine you find for the first time in that class in the Polo. I think, and I'm sure, with this technical concept, the new Polo defines the normal vehicle class boundaries and sets new standards. This is also typical for Volkswagen when we come with all new cars here. So let me come and start with the dimension, as already said. The Polo is just over four meters long, so a little bit longer than before, but still in the four meter class. Important, you may have noticed from your perspective, is almost seven centimeters wider. And this is important while you sit in the car. The wheelbase is also much bigger, and also the wheel diameter, you may notice right now, is also has been increased. The height of the new Polo on the other side has been slightly decreased. And this, as a total, results in much more dynamic proportions. From a customer perspective on the other side, the great thing is that thanks to this MQB packaging, we are able to make out of this much better use of the interior. 
to give you an example, although the roof is lower than its predecessors, the headroom inside that car is much bigger. On the front seat, you have a 15 millimeters more headroom, and on the rear seat, you have more than two centimeters more headroom, even although the car is smaller. Headroom is important, but legroom is interesting as well. So, especially also on the second row, you have definitely much more legroom because of the wheelbase that increased. So, the wheelbase increase, yeah, we used for another thing because passenger is one side, luggage compartment is the other side. Yeah? We know from our customers and clinics that, that luggage room is important as well, also in that class. So what did we do? We increased it to, in comparison to the actual Polo by 25%. In real numbers, we reach more than 350 liters now. This is what you compare more or less to the Golf class. This is 70 liters more than before, and that really defies vehicle class boundaries to that. Next topic is the equipment, the technical equipment inside the car. And I think on board, I'm sure on board, our customers get the equipment, the functionality, the connectivity, and style they want. And take this second generation of this active info display, for example. The new Polo is the first car worldwide in this class to feature these new technologies. Also at Volkswagen, we still have, we still have other active info displays in other cars, but the next generation, the second generation, has its world premiere here. It's an enhanced uh, system. It impresses with additional information in that, with different views and screens, and with an amazingly crisp graphics. The whole Polo's high-end cockpit gives us a taste of a new era of simple controls, which is important, an era in which using digital technology and connectivity is more intuitive than ever. That's why we have given the dashboard a completely new layout. The infotainment system display is the centerpiece of this digital world. The touchscreen, which, by the way, is, goes up to eight inches in diameter, is now positioned right at the top of the dashboard. So it provides perfect visibility and ergonomics. You reach it for this touch display, you see it, it's crispy and clear and perfect. What is the result of this cockpit? Just what we want, easy to use, intuitive and easy to use. Just get in that Polo, start the engine and gear off. So when you start the engine, and you go, so what about while driving? What you can discover while driving? I think the Polo has a lot to offer when it comes to driver assistance systems. Because before you talk, of course, before we talk about driver assistance systems, we can talk about driving. The handling of that car yeah, is a huge step beyond what we know today from Polo. This is also thanks to MQB, by the way. The handling, the steering, the performance of that car yeah, from the smallest version of the smallest engine up to the GTI is much better than everything that we had before in that class. Back to the systems. We have, uh, have a long range and a long list of assistant systems. The most of them you know from Golf or Tiguan. But I'll give you an example, you know, what is quite important, what is necessary to have in that class from our perspe perspective. We were offering even the basic model, we call it Trendline, with front assist traffic monitoring system. This is including, this system is including the city emergency braking and here in the Polo class with a pedestrian monitoring system. So we can detect pedestrians and do the city emergency braking. So this is high technology in that car. If you choose a higher line than trend line, also the driver alert system is included as a standard. Further driver assistance systems are available at reasonable prices in that car. I give you an example of this adaptive cruise control, for example. This system automatically keeps the car at a set speed and a set distance from the, distance from the vehicle ahead. And in Polos, if that Polo is equipped with a dual clutch gearbox, this ACC even remains active in the stop and go traffic. So it stops and it starts again automatically under certain circumstances. By that, it increases safety significantly. It's the statistically proven that this sensor controlled automatic braking feature, by the way, the sensor is here behind our logo, by the way. 
it's statistically proven from everything we know from golf, for example, that this system you know, uh, is a safety system because it reduces the rear end collisions in the case of the golf by, 40, for, by 45 percent. This is proven from real life. And now we have this as standard, not as standard, optionally here in the Polo. Another safety system I want to mention in the, for the new Polo is the lane change assistant, which we call blind spot monitor. We have radar sensor in the back of that car. They detect any vehicles approaching from behind that are in the blind spot. And if it detects, the, bl the blind spot monitor warns the driver via an indicator in the respective ming, uh, wing mirror outside. You see a logo and it's warning. Yeah. By this, you can therefore avoid accidents when passing, especially on motorways. Last but not least, we have integrated rear traffic alert. Probably all of you are familiar with this uneasy feeling when we get, when we're backing out of a parking space or a driveway into moving traffic. Often it's simply impossible to see of a, whether a bicycle or a car is approaching from the side. That, however, is precisely what rear traffic alert does, because it has its sensors right at the back in the bumper. So it effectively looks around the corner, wants the driver and, which is important, and applies the Polos brakes automatically if necessary. So this is driver assistance. So ladies and gentlemen, after hearing me telling you everything about assistance, uh, about active driver um, displays and so on, you will be probably wondering about the price of the new Polo. I'm happy to tell you, maybe lower than you're expecting, because in Germany the Polo will start at just 12,975 euros. And this is quite impressive for what you get here.